Hello Pokemon Shpi, this is A Amazing, and welcome to my first upload against Brooding Bat. It's a standard OU battle with a twist, and you'll get that sooner. But anyway, a little info about me before I get into the battle. I'm A Amazing, uh, I'm Irish, and I don't use Sav, so all the Pokemon see are bred up, because that's what I do best, I'm a breeder. Because remember, breeders do it better. He's A Amazing, and his uh, best friend is a Dido. <laughs> but anyway, enough jokes. But anyway, here's the battle. I lead off with a Roserade and he leads off with a Ninjask. And for some, I just had in my mind that it's a band of Ninjask because everyone uses band of Ninjasks, right? Now I just go for a sludge, but I'm just kind of thinking if it was a Baron Pass, I didn't want the sub up with me going for a uh, Sleep Powder. So um, he get, I'm able to knock it down, but he does have the leftover. So I'm going to Nido King, just kind of thinking as a full mono attacker because um, I do have priority on my Nido King, like. All Nido Kings have. But unfortunately, I go for the Sucker Punch. However, he um, bat on pass out with plus two speed to his Tyranitar. And I went, ah, oh, nuts, this could be an early sweep. But um, luckily enough, I brought my Weezing, who will take these hits for funsies. He goes for an Aqua Tail, unfortunately, misses. And he's probably predict obviously predicting the switch, so I went for an Aqua Tail to hit something. But, um, he goes for a stone edge and as you can see he doesn't do that much and I go for a willowist and it misses and went ah oh, nuts but um yeah so I'll go for a pain split here just because knowing that another stone edge would take me down a fair whack of HP however he misses a stone edge and basically his fucking tyranitar is missing like a G thing baby but anyway he um predicts my willowist again here while we let all the bouncing happen with all the black sludge and leftovers he goes in his ninja, predicting the will o wisp and just to kill off a turn. But um I have I'm guessing that this turn he probably predicted the sludge bomb. Like even though it's stab, it's not on the standard wheezing. Like I run flamethrower mainly to cover steals for this team that I'm using. But um he bat on passes straight out and he goes into a skarmory and unfortunately that will take over half damage from a flamethrower from wheezing. And i get a bit lucky here, I do get the burn. So it's unlucky, but I, I get the burn, and he's going to be unable to kind of reset off, because I will eventually be able to, like, I will crit him eventually if he tries to reset. So he just sets up the start rock, and go for the flame throw, and that will take out a skirmy. So that's one steel Pokemon, which is an absolute beast against the team that I'm using at the moment. And hopefully most of you have got it now while I'm using. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we let the sandstorm and the bouncing happen, and he goes back into his... Jirachi and I went, oh, nutbags. And I predicted him to set up, predicting my switch, but he goes straight for the psychic. But I live at 1 HP and I'm able to get off a Will O Wisp. And I was already thinking, thank God. But unfortunately, I will lose it to Sandstorm. And it's a bit bent because you'll soon see later how much reason would have been vital. But um, I go into Drapion and I was sort of thinking, Ing that he might swap out, so I go for a pursuit because any damage on a Drachi is all good. However, he goes for the wish, and now we know it's like a wish come on the Drachi. Like, ah, nuts. Hopefully, I'll be able to take this bad boy out. But um, I go for another pursuit here, thinking he might try to swap out his wish to his uh, ninjas, thinking I'll go for an earthquake. But um, I get a crit here, and with Drape on Sniper Blade, that will do a fair whack. And he just goes for a calm mind, and he gets the wish back up, as you do. And filler, filler, filler. <laughs> but um, after all that jazz of sandstorm and all that jazz, see that's that's a good thing with black and white because it does have like it says the sand like whatever weather is going on in the corner it says it, so I wouldn't have to show it constantly, which is kind of good. At least it speeds up the recording in that way. But heart gold, soul silver still has the sandstorm raging and buffeting people and blah. But anyway. Um, I do get a crit pursuit there, which is a bit bad because Drapion does have the great ability of Sniper when looks on your side. But as you can see, he'd be unable to um, take another Earthquake. So I predict the switch out here, which is amazing because any damage on a Drachi is amazing, especially bulky Drachi because they are bitches. Now he goes back into the Caesar and, well, into a Caesar, and I was sort of thinking, mm, what will I do? I, sort of, I kind of predicted the U. The wild chase here, but he stays in. I just go for an earthquake to do a bit, do a bit more damage. But he's actually testing to see if I did have the fire fang. Like even though fire fang and drapion is rare, if it wants to do well in OU, it's to do with Caesar and um, fortress. 
But anyway, I just do an earthquake, just do a fair whack of damage onto the Caesar because Antisendia is bad. He goes for the wild chase. Hi oh I know wild chase doesn't like it, but I'm gonna say it anyway because I'm cool. And um he goes back into Dracius father. He's probably hoping I'd swap out Dra Drapion, but I didn't because I kinda knew that Drapion could take any attack from Caesar because it is near full health and does have the base one ten defences but um, as you can see the camera stalls here but I do go for an earthquake and that will take out the Jirachi it's amazing that's another threat out of the way however he still has that Caesar floating around which is a bit Marcus Bend but um, as I said take out the Jirachi spoilers and he goes back into his um, Caesar and I was sort of thinking okay I need Drapion so I redraw him out and he, got, and he goes for the wild chase to take out my Roserade and draws him out he draws him out, goes back in his Tyranitar, says, okay, Grant, Nido King can um, KO him and move on with the battle. However, like, after all the uh, bouncing and all that jazz, um, Nido King, finally, <laughs> I go for an earthquake, and unfortunately, so Marcus bent. He lives with, literally, no joke, a slitter of HP, and... He goes for the Aqua Tail, and that will, unfortunately, take out my super sexy Needle King. However, I do get the Poison Hacks, but, I stress the word but, the Poison Hacks actually saves us time, because I do, my, my opponent and Pokemon are faster than Tyranitar. So, um, he goes into a Caesar, and I go into Gengar predicting this, and I was sort of thinking, he's going to pursue me. So I go for a Destiny Bond, and that will take out his, uh, Caesar, because I couldn't get HP Fire, and when I did, I had terrible IVs on my Gengar, so... I went for the ultimate attack, I went for Destiny Bond and praise out dividends here because literally that's the main reason why Gengar is in this team to take out Caesars. So I take out the Caesar, which is amazing. And he goes into his uh, final Pokemon and it just has to be a Metagross. So it's going, oh, nutbags. <sighs> but I go for a Surf and I can tell that it's a bulky Metagross because my Tentacruel is not even that fast. And he goes for an Earthquake and that will unfortunately take out my Tentacruel. Which is a bit bent. Like I put it in the team. Like people probably said. Well then I use Muck. I can't use Tentacruel. Because it Rapid Spin. Stab Surf. And Ice Beam. But um, I got the Drape on. He does have the Bullet Punch. Because that's what Life or Metagross have. I thought it might be Banner when I first saw it. But fortunately it's not. And fortunately I lose the battle. But, but, at the end of the day. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. So. Yeah. Um, as you can see. He had four top OU steals there as well as tyranitar doesn't take that much damage from poison so it's really facing uphill battle but as i said it was a very close battle poison team just ran up that tiny bit short at the end of the day why does last have to be a metagross because literally any other pokemon probably would have won but anyway wheezing and drapon did very well they were did very well highly recommended for any EU team but if you like my narrations you like the fact that they're breed feel free to check out my feel free to subscribe to me below the link will be below in the description but anyway like, comment, subscribe, enjoy the rest of the day, and remember, breeders do it better. Because they do. We get all the chicks, don't we? But anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Bye-bye.